Hey, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Ronak Doshi, a partner with Everest Group, and I am with our lead analyst on the insurance technology and services, uh, Kirti. With me, hey Kirti. Hi, Ronak. Good to be back. So, good. <laughs> yeah, it is right. So again, you you and I have been discussing uh, the policy administration technology market, and we discuss some demand trends in terms of why it is so imperative for. Life and annuities insurers to drive modernization efforts, and we also spoke about how we are seeing this shift towards the industry doing more of you know build and configure versus you know kind of sorry the buy and configure versus actually building these core at their end. So what I thought was today we will talk to you about as insurers think of buying these technologies, who are these suppliers in the market, and what are the trends that you are seeing in this space. So, Ronak, um, in our piece of research, uh, we spoke to around 15 policy administration platform providers, and uh, we have analyzed internally their capability of, um, and based on their sizes, we have classified um, the participants. Mm -hmm. And um, we see that across North America, the policy administration platform provider market seems more fragmented, especially in the group life product types of l and insurance industry. And uh, most of the platform providers have established individual life capability, but uh, very few platforms have a diverse portfolio, including group life and annuity product types. So uh, based on their um, size of business uh, in the individual life product type, platform providers like Accenture, EXL, Fast, Infosys, and Oracle are on our list. And in the group life product type, we can see a very unique set of providers who pioneer in this segment, like uh, Fast, Finios, Infosys, Oracle, and Vitek. For annuities product lines, we have providers like Accenture, Concentric, EXL, Emphasis, and Oracle on our list. Across the European market, we have observed a slightly different trend, but most of the players have capabilities across the breadth of LNE product types, like uh, for data and TPS funds. So uh, in the individual life segment um, and annuities product types, we have seen DXP for data and TCS with evolved capabilities, while it's key lane for data and TCS banks on our list for group and group life product types. Really interesting. I think it's a diverse landscape of suppliers. And again, the kind of, you know, the number of providers you spoke with and the kind of research you've done. I know there is a lot to unlock in the report that you've been publishing now here. We have detailed profiles on each of these providers in our report, analyzing their capabilities, features, functionalities, market success, and case studies. So there's a lot of rich data and insights that you and your team have been doing. So thanks for all the fantastic work. This is really good. Um, and I hope to continue the conversation on this one. Thanks, Kirti. Thank you, Ronak.